two. And the guy in the truck.
All right, runners, I couldn't have been prouder of such a fantastic effort by our team. They really played well and made it, uh, made it a game uh, to remember for that. No doubt in my mind, it's not, not only a history-making game in terms of the tremendous uh, audience and the victory in NC2A, a tournament first ever in our history, but also just the way they played. They had just ter terrific uh, teamwork, great, uh, great defense, and just played one of the best games I've ever seen them play. So we're very proud of our Roadrunners. They're the best. Thank you. <laughs> you guys just did something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 Thank you. 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 Of this university, whether it's baseball, softball, basketball, has ever won a game in a championship in the NCAA championship. You all played outstanding the first half. Hey, I don't know how you come back and play that way the second half when you got a three-point lead and you're not on your home court. You need to be very, very proud. I got the opportunity one time to coach a team that was the lowest seated team in the NCAA tournament for women. The lowest seated ever. And you know what we did? We went to Sweet 16. We kicked ass. Okay? Right. So it is time to get your heads up. You need to be very, very proud. And the one thing I ask you to do when you go to the Ohio State, and the I want you to remember. are coming into the AD's purse right now. <laughs> the Ohio State, that's what they call themselves. If you remember in San Antonio, our signs say the University of Texas at San Antonio. Okay? When you go in there, you just got to stay focused. They put their pants on the same way you do. But they're going to play very hard. They're going to do things like blocking out. They're going to take care of the ball. They're going to talk to each other. And something else, if things go wrong in the game, they're not going to get pissed off at each other. They're going to pick each other up, and they're going to go and play well as a team. That's why they're where they're at. That's why you're where you're at. And I hope you, what you remember tonight, whether you poured, played one minute or you played all the minutes, you did not get here without being a group. You have made history. You are heroes on our campus. So when you go to the Ohio State, you make sure that you play your tails off. And you make sure when you come on and off the court that you hustle. You make sure if stuff goes wrong that you get up and say, Coach, I'll do it right. And you listen to what he's saying. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. And I believe in dreams. I believe in miracles. The NCAA highlights the rest of the tournament, even at the Final Four. You will be part of that last highlight. But one of the greatest highlights tonight, I mean, you made some tonight, didn't you, big guy? Okay. Yes, you did. All right. But the greatest one was when he looked up at the screen and waved at himself. Okay. That will go down in history. What did you say on the screen? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Devin, watch this. Steven is over the flu. I'm giving him a hug. Everybody listen. Everybody listen. Don't push. You just beat that team nine. Okay, and I, it's what I was telling you at that last time out. The, the, just because of the structure of the game and how it was, it seemed like a downer. If they'd have told me that this morning and shoot around and we were going to beat this team nine and move on to go play Ohio State, we'd all be happy as can be. Right. Smile, man. Be proud of yourself. You guys did a heck of a job. Let's go. What we're here to do. Win. One, two, three. Win. win. Big win for us tonight. Um, obviously, first NCAA tournament win in school history. Uh, played great in the first half. Didn't play as well in the second half, but it's hard when you're up 30 like that, you know, 25 or 30 um, in a situation where, you know, you're in a neutral site. You haven't been in that situation many times, but guys played hard um, and just we're excited getting a big win and now we're now on to Ohio, Ohio State. We are super excited, uh, obviously being the first team in the history of the school to get to the NCAA tournament and uh, win a game. Uh, obviously, we, did, we felt like we played well for, the, for a stretch of the game. Probably 30 to 35 minutes, we played really well. But again, it's, it was a difficult game for us. Uh, we had not uh, experienced but being up by 25 or 30 points. Uh, we're very proud of our guys, especially our young guys, to have an opportunity to be a part of something like this. And obviously, we're especially proud of Devin as well, being the only senior. So, go Roll Runners. Well, really, this week was tough because I had to battle the flu. I was really sick. I couldn't, I couldn't even practice. I couldn't participate in any of the uh, pre-game activities like the interviews and the media practice and all the other fun stuff that the team got to be a part of. But at the end of the day, like everybody on the team kept my head into the game. They kept me focused. I had to watch film in my room. 
had to, I was pretty much quarantined, but I did everything I needed to do to prepare. And it was just a tough game. But it's a good, it's a good win, man. I'm happy that we won. I'm happy Devin gets a win in senior year. <laughs> yeah, man, you want to say something? You want to say something? You know, um, felt like, you know, Stephen Franklin, this guy to my left played very well. Um, he had some big shots. Um, I feel as if, you know, Ohio State is the next opponent. I feel really good about it. Um, hey, man, you sound like Coach T, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Terrible interview. Terrible interview. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for him. It's his senior year. It's his last go around. And we're just going to try to make it as fun as possible for as long as possible. That's all.